Vermont leaders are looking for your input on a proposal to import prescription drugs from Canada. Local 22's Courtney Adelman was at a hearing this morning, and she joins us in the newsroom tonight with more. Hi, Courtney. Well, Lauren, in 2018, the Vermont legislator was the first in the nation to pass a law that would allow for the importation of prescription drugs from Canada. But in order for the law to be in place, it needed federal approval. And it wasn't until December of 2019 when U.S. departments published a proposed rule which allows states to import prescription drugs from Canada. I, I'm all in favor of this program and I hope it works out. On Tuesday, Richard Rolliman attended a hearing about a proposal to import prescription drugs from Canada. Jerolaman says he wanted to attend because of his experience living in Canada when he was younger. For many years afterwards, I drove across the border uh, to get my uh, cholesterol lowering drugs. So I would make a trip every three months to Canada and I saved about uh, Half, half the cost. Vermont's proposal would allow people to get those drugs in the U.S. It, w it would be wholesaler to wholesaler. So there would be a wholesaler in Canada that would be working with a wholesaler here in Vermont or in the United States that would make these available. Vermont law already permits importation of prescription drugs from Canada with approval from the federal government. But up until now, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has not granted states approval of importation. A notice of proposed rulemaking was, um, was created by the federal government and there is now a draft pathway for states to pursue importation of prescription drugs. Officials wanted public input to help draft a plan. From these uh, comments and from the rules, the final rules that are drafted, we will submit a plan to the federal government. And according to Vermont administrators, it would save around $15 million. However, the proposal would not cover all prescription drugs. But I hope they'll also consider the most important drug for senior citizens, I think, are the narcotics that are not being covered. Officials say they are hoping to submit a plan to the federal government by July. And for more information on this, you can go to myshamplainvalley.com. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.